oasis of life in the open ocean, the coral reefs ecosystem forms the most colorful environment on our planet. Masters of color, the fish communicate gracefully between themselves. Yet, there is more. Hidden within this kaleidoscope of color is a secret range, a visual extravaganza. To discover it, we'll wait for the night. Entering the water with special prototype lights, we are anxious to see what's hidden beyond the blue. Swimming across the sand, we first come across two tube anemones. One of them shows some spectacular fluorescence. Already we wonder why some fluoresce while others don't. But it's not until we reach the reef that we realize the extent of our discovery. It's breathtaking. We've never seen anything like this before. The corals come alive with incredible colors in the beam of our lights. Switching back to white light reveals that most of the corals harbor a dull brownish color. Our special light transforms the coral into such a melody of color that we have to switch back and forth just to make sense of what we're looking at. Back on the surface, we lack the words to describe what we just witnessed. Fantastic! But one thing is sure, we need to find out more about what lays beyond the blue. The fluorescence on the reef is, is truly astonishing. If you take a, um, a bright blue light down at night time and look at coral, it glows back at you greens and oranges and reds and pinks and all sorts of lovely colours. Hardly anyone in the scientific community has looked beyond the coral. The odds of you going in the water and finding something, you might not be aware of it, but the odds of you finding something, seeing some animal fluorescent that no one else in the history of the universe has ever seen is probably over 90% anywhere in the world, simply because so few people have done this. So taking our blue lights, we are pioneers on a journey of discovery. And in astonishing behavior never filmed before, the animals reveal phenomena still far from understood. The banded coral shrimp is only fluorescing on her fishnet-like mandibles and in a small dot at the end of each claw and pincer. Applied like nail polish, this perhaps allows her to see the tip of her appendages precisely. It allows us to clearly see how she captures tiny copepods and prey. Not far away, a fireworm blends with the surrounding corals. Or does he? Excited by our blue prototype, another secret is revealed as he shows us what he's truly made of. The most surprising thing is that not only invertebrates are fluorescent, but also other animals and fish like this lizardfish. The fluorescent markings on fish are astonishing. 
He looks pretty, but we can only speculate why this goby chooses to emit such colours from his eyes and spine. For the fish, for the animals on the reef, it's really wanting to say something. They're using fluorescence as part of their colour communication channel. It's a way of being even more colourful than, than colourful, if you like. The goatfish is an expert colour changer during the day. He's showing us that he can handle some fluorescence too. Coming to investigate our bizarre film set, the octopus tells us that being colourblind doesn't stop him taking on a blue dress and looking at us with an amazing fluorescing eye. Coming out of the sand, the snake eel has become a beacon her body almost entirely fluorescent. The coral reef and its inhabitants have once again revealed some incredible secrets to us. As animals talk and exhibit in mystifying display, the more we see makes us realise how little we know. In a world where communication is ruled by colour display, the animals have adapted to the underwater blue environment by changing colour itself. After witnessing this fluorescent rhapsody, we just wonder how much more is there that we can't see.